Hi everyone, welcome to day 27 of my 100 days challenge. We will be solving one of the recent Ask Amazon Data Analyst interview question. So let's see the question. So the question says, you are working with a table called orders that track customers order amount along with the order date. Write a query to find each customer's latest order amount and the second latest order amount for each customer. This is how the expected output is. We need to find out the customer's ID. So the latest order amount here and the second latest order amount. Now this is the table we have. In the table we have order ID. We have customer's ID, we have order date and we have order amount. So let's see how we should solve this type of question. Now I can see I have already created the table and inserted this data which you can get from the video descriptions. So let's see the data that you can see inside the table. We have the same data which you can see order ID, customer's ID, order date and the order amount. Now if you want to check what we need to find out is basically for each customer's ID. So for customer ID 101, so the latest order is going to be this one, right? This is the earliest order we can see. So the order amount is $180 and the second letter is going to be this one, which is $200. For this customers, again, if you want to check, the latest is going to be, this is $320 and the second letter is going to be $250. So this is what we need to find out. So let's start writing query to solve this question. So I'm just going to use this line of code here. So let's see first what we need is the column. So first I'm going to select this column which is called customer ID. So I would say customer ID, the first column. And then I will select the second column which is called order date. Order date. And I will select this column which is called order amount. So order amount. So these are the three columns I'm selecting for now. So let's run this query. Now you can see we have each customer's ID, order amount and the order date. Now for this customers, this amount which you see that is $180. So this amount is going to be what? This amount is going to be the latest order amount, right? So for this customers, this amount is the latest order amount. For this customers, this order is the latest order amount, right? Based on the date. So that means we need the date as a max. So here I can use a where condition. I can say where and I can say where order date equals and here I need to get the maximum date and I will need to get maximum date for each customer's ID. So let's say when I'm working for this customer's ID, which is 101, I want to find out 101 inside 101 customers. What is the maximum latest date I have for that date? I need to find it here. So what I can say here is that I can say this order table as 01. I can give an alias called 01. So I will be getting this column from 01. I will be getting this column from 01 this column I don't need at the moment so I'm just going to remove it and uh, I would say 01 dot order date equals so here I need to build my logic inside a subquery so we'll be using correlated subquery logic here so I can go ahead and say select max date order date okay I'm saying select max order date from which table from this order table okay now this table I'm going to name it call O2 and I need to use some word logic to make a connection between this query and this query. So this query and this query I need to make a connection so I can say from and I can say where I need the maximum the biggest date from this date column which is order date column only for a specific customers right. So I can say where this O2 O2 dot customer ID equals this outside customers ID so for each customers ID it will force check the maximum order date and then it will return into this where conditions and then it's going to filter the data for that customers ID that is how we will be getting the order amount okay so this order I'm going to save it call latest order amount so let's run this query Now I can see we have each customer's ID and the latest order amount. Now if you want to understand, if you say here, I'm saying from orders table, I'm naming it this order table as 01. I'm selecting customer's ID and the order amount, right? So very simple till here, but I'm using a where conditions. I'm, I'm saying that where order date is something, right? So here I'm building a logic. I'm saying that select maximum order date from a table called O2. Now here I'm saying in the O2, I'm saying the customer's ID equals the customer's ID of outside. So while the SQL is working for the first row, which is first customer's ID and the first customer order amount. So it will go through this where conditions. So here it is going to select the order date and uh, 
and it will compare with the order date that this query is going to return now if you execute this query this query is selecting the maximum order date for a specific customer id which is 101 that is the first customer id and that is how we are getting the result right so now again it's the customer is going to be second so second customer id we are again getting the maximum order date and then we are getting the latest order amount which is 320 so this is fine now we just need the second latest order amount for each of these customers right so we will be using same correlated logic here so i'm going to say inside this parenthesis i need select now i would say max and i would say order amount i need the one order amount for each customer id so i would say max order amount and i will say from orders as o2 now i'm giving this order table as o2 here so i will just name it call o3 so i will name it call o3 okay now again this is simple query you can see a sub query inside another query okay so here in this sub query i'm selecting the maximum the order amount okay but uh, this is simply going to give us the maximum order amount right so we need to build some logic outside and inside because we want to find out for the customer's id 101 we want to find out the maximum order amount but the second order amount not the first order amount so here i can say here after this i can use a where condition same logic i can use what i have used earlier so i can say this logic just i will need to change the table name so i'm just going to say where okay where the o2 instead of o2 is going to be o3 so o3 of customer id equals o1 of customer id i'm saying for this customer's id i need the maximum order amount but that is going to give you the biggest order amount right now how do we get the second largest order amount now how you can get the second latest order amount so for the second latest order amount we can use one more and logic here we can say n and we can use it here where you can say that o3 oops o3 dot order amount less than o1 dot order amount now here this query is getting the maximum order amount from a table called order table but that is for a specific customers so for the first customers is going to say the customer id equals customer id right so for inside the customer id we need the outside customers id so when SQL is working for the first customer's ID, so the customer's ID is going to be 101, right? So for 101, we are getting the maximum order amount. But here we are using one more logic where we're saying that ordered order amount, not order amount, it should be order date. Okay. Order date less than order date. Okay. Let's delete this extra order so let's understand this logic okay so i am saying here the customer's id equals to the customer's id outside so outside customer's id let's say it's 101 so i'm saying for 101 i need to find out the maximum order amount but i'm saying the order date which is inside this query the order date must be lesser than the outside order date so that means if you see the maximum order amount of the table so here if you see we are here right we're working for 101 customer id now if you see we're saying maximum order amount from this table so that's going to be what that's going to be 200 right which is this one but we need to ensure that this order amount that we're selecting this date must be what this date must be less than the latest order amount date so that's going to be this date right so this date is going to be less than this date right this is a smaller this is a larger date right so this is what we are doing in this logic so we're saying select the maximum order amount where customer id equals the customer id outside and we are saying where the order three of order date is less than outside which is order on one of order date so let's run it now i'm just going to save it as second second latest order amount so let's go ahead and kind of save this query and let's run this query now we can see for customer id 101 we can see the latest order amount which is 180 the second latest is 200 now for customer id 102 the latest is 320 and the second latest is 250 so this one we only have uh, two records now if you want to verify it you can just check for customer id 101 so this is the latest order which is the earliest order you can see which is 
20th of March of 2024 so $180 we we're getting correct so the second latest is $200 we're also getting correct now for 102 customers ID so the latest is going to be this one which is March 320 that is correct and 250 is the second latest which is correct and third one we only have two records so lettuce is 420 second lettuce is 400 so this is how we can solve this type of interview question using approach called correlated subquery that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like this type of content do subscribe to my youtube channel have a good day take care bye bye